Things you never knew about Navatman, day six. One of our like under the radar points of what we've always been trying to do is change how we perceive and value Indian performing arts and services within that. Here's a really quick, easy example for you. What is the appropriate price for a ballet show in New York City? And then what is the appropriate price for a show of a touring artist in Bharatanatyam in New York City. I'm almost willing to bet that the ballet show is a little higher and the Bharatanatyam show was lower. And it doesn't matter if you were thinking like, well, higher quality Lincoln Center performing, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, this performs at a different level in terms of theaters, da, 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 da. It's the fact that you thought that to begin with that creates this incredible bias. I'm sure you've all read Malcolm Gladwell's Blink about how we make snap decisions that are based in biases. This is no different. So the way we pay for things around the Indian performing arts is because of snap biases created by like lots of things, history, colorism, this, that, the other thing. We don't have to get into that. The point is we can create more equal spaces in this world by allowing ourselves to start to pay more for the Indian arts. And we've been doing that very slowly at Navatman. Um, and we are actually still undervaluing ourselves. We recently did a study, um, some MBA students did a study about our organization and our price points and things like Drive East, which, you know, are pretty well known international concerts are still like 30% the price tag of other concert halls in and around New York City. So, things you never knew about Navatman Day 6, trying to perceive value in a totally different way around the work that we do.